So here we are to have a look at the XL charcoal blocks. They're in the same family as our new XL graphite blocks. And they're a great new product, and I'm going to show you all about them now. So let's have a look inside the tin. Got our leaflet, of course. So then you've got the six blocks inside. The colour range in this um, set, it's all warm colours. So you've got really classic drawing ranges. We've got ochre. Sanguine, Mars Violet, Sepia, Black and White. <laughs> Those astute amongst you will be thinking, well, how on earth can you have a white charcoal? That's very true indeed. It's a kind of uh, our, the equivalent of a white chocolate. You know, it doesn't have actually any charcoal pigment in there. But what it does have is exactly the same binding agents as um, the rest of the charcoals in the set. So although Clearly it isn't charcoal, it really works perfectly with this set, so we wanted to add it in uh, to give you something else to use. Right, so I'll show you the colours in the pack. Obviously we've got the dark, beautifully soft black charcoal. We've got a sepia colour, a Mars Violet, which is a kind of purpley brown colour, our sanguine and our ochre and then of course as I mentioned lovely opaque white. So those blocks make up our set they are beautifully smooth to, to work with really really are and as you can see as I start going over these unlike graphite with these you can layer over the top of each other because they're completely opaque so if, even if I take a lighter colour like the ochre, we can just go right over the top and start layering up. It's almost like a uh, working with a nice big soft pastel, really beautiful and powdery. Um, and you, because it's so big, it's just, it just feels great in your hand. You just want to pick it up and just start making all these different marks. Also, you can use the sides as well. So, putting in really dark areas on the side. We've got all the fine lines we can use. And of course we've got our white, so we can really get in there and it helps to blend the colours. I can really get in there and have some great fun. So let's put all these together and do a quick drawing. Right, I'm going to start off with our ochre, just to lay down some initial shapes. See if you can guess what we're drawing. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, there's our basic shape. Incidentally, I'm working on um, Derwent pastel paper, which is um, it's new out as well, and I'm sure you'll find a video about it. But it's really, it's a new paper. It's lovely and smooth, but it really works fantastic with charcoal, so you don't get all that kind of texture coming through your drawing. So let's pick up another one. I've got the Mars Violet, adding a bit of shadow there, just to get things darker. And actually, also there, we'll colour in here. It really is so easy with this to get colour down really quickly. Mars Violet again, I'm going to go around there. Actually, we'll start adding a bit of texture there. And here. Indication of some texture going on around there as well. And then I'm going to work with the white as well. So adding in some white into this area. We'll start to blend the colours together. What I love about them is just being able to layer over the top, go over anything you've already done. Really change anything. Just 
like a painting. It's just like continuous change. Right, okay, so let's take the black. Add in. Pupils here. Starting to look a bit more like a bird, maybe even an owl. Whilst we've got the black out, adding a bit more shadow under its brow. Which might transfer there as well. I think we'll just gently smudge in that eye. and smooth. Start to smudge it around the outside of the eye. This is a little bit more 3D to the eye itself. In fact, we'll add in a bit more Mars Violet around there. Give it a little smudge with the finger. Highlight into the eye. Okay, and then we just need to finish off texture around the bird's eyes, indicating some feathers here. Sanguine. Its nose. Bit of ochre as well. So there we go. A nice quick drawing done with those charcoal blocks and I, I really would highly recommend trying these out they're such good fun to use it's just such a beautiful shape to have in your hand to work to draw with really quick and easy before we go I will just show you the accessories that we have as you noticed I've got very messy hands working with the charcoal and of course we do have a, a gripper here that you can add on to the block to keep your hands a little bit cleaner as you're working so we've got that there we also have the Derwent Sprinkler, which is essentially for making your own graphite, uh, graphite or charcoal powders. And it works really easily. All you do is hold it, put the block over the mesh and just run it over the top. And you can see, you can just sprinkle your powder through there and then you can use it, use your fingers to rub it in. If you want to make a really smooth background to your drawing, then it's a great, great way of doing that. And then we have this little interesting looking piece of equipment. It's the Derwent Groove Cube. And this <laughs> is loads of fun. So let's take one of the blocks. Let's say, I'm going to run my block along that edge there. What this does is it provides us with the opportunity to make different marks with the block. So running the block along these abrasive areas cuts away some of the block and then we get to do loads of different marks. And there's four different designs on the cube itself. So we have one here, go around the corner we've got two, there's one with one taken out, I think. I'll show you that. I love this. It's a brilliant little accessory. So that's the range. I've shown you the accessories that go with the um, XL products and of course our XL charcoal blocks.